Welcome to another episode of AKRME Fitness, your favorite YouTube fitness channel. In this episode, you have myself and Ashley, and we're working our legs, our quads to be specific. So we're doing single leg leg extensions. We did five sets of 20 reps per leg of this exercise. That illustrates something that I like to do a lot of times. I'll, uh, if I'm doing 20 or 25 reps, I'll do either five sets if I'm doing 20 reps or four sets if I'm doing 25 for a grand total of 100 reps uh, per leg or both legs collectively, however you look at it. But um, that's just, just what I'm on this time. So five sets, 20 reps per leg, 100 reps per leg of this exercise. Yeah, pain is inevitable. Pain is going to be in everybody's life, whether they like it or not. You're going to get hurt by something in some shape, form, or fashion. The only thing about it is different people handle pain different ways. Um, once you get hurt, you either can let it, let it keep you down or you can allow it to motivate you. The strong people are going to get motivated by the pain that they feel. They're going to um, react differently, whereas... Weak people or, or just maybe even just average people. I'm not even going to say weak. Just average people may take the pain and once they feel it, they're going to complain about it. They're going to mope and gripe about it and may even let it stop them. Strong people will not. Strong people will take the pain and use it as fuel to drive them to achieve the goals that they have set before them. So, you know, it's up to you to decide whether you're going to be average or whether you're going to be strong. Whether you don't let the pain make you quit and fold or take it and use it to your advantage and let it make you be the best version of yourself. The choice is yours. Choose wisely. So if you don't go to the gym consistently, if you don't eat right consistently, then our bodies are not going to be shaped the way that we want. The other habits that we have are going to be what shape our life. What we do outside of the gym will shape our life. If we sit down and watch Netflix more than we get to the gym, then that's what's going to shape our life. What you do consistently, not what you do every once in a while. And when I say you got to fight for it, that doesn't just mean um, fight the weights. The battle begins before you even get to the gym, before you even touch the weights. It, it begins with what you put on your plate. You got to fight for it by um, monitoring your diet and getting discipline, gaining discipline over your diet, then you have to discipline yourself just to get to the gym. That's a fight in and of itself. Then once you get to the gym, the battle begins with the weight. So you gotta fight for it in more ways than just one. And like I said, the, the fight doesn't just end once you leave the gym. Once you leave the gym, that's where the fight really begins because it's easy to, well, once you get into the habit of working out, working out is easy, what's hard is really controlling what you put in your your body and um, the other habits that you have outside of the gym. So you gotta fight for it every day, one way or another, in ways that you don't even think that you have to fight for it. You gotta fight for it if you want it. I said a lot of these quotes say the same thing but just in different ways so this one runs right hand in hand with another one basically the other one says uh what you what you view as a challenge somebody else uses as motivation so just because something is challenging don't don't it, it, it's all about your perspective and how you view it you can you can let it cause you to give up or you can let make it um use it as motivation to make you fight harder you can, you can, you know, view it as a challenge, something to overcome, something that you can overcome and, and be proud of yourself once you've overcome. So it's all about the way that you look at the obstacles that you face. Stop telling me, yourself, and God what you can't do. Keep, keep saying what you can do because you can do it. You have to have faith in yourself because you can. Never said anybody say, hey man, that's a, that's a real good excuse. No, I mean, all excuses sound the same and none of them produce any results for you. So let go of your excuses and find your reason, your reason to do it. 
find your why, the reason for you to, to, to achieve, to succeed. Let go of those excuses, man. Nobody wants to hear them. And like I said, they're not going to benefit you at all or push you any closer to the goals that you said you were going to do yesterday. You can want to be a better person. You can want to be strong. You can want to look good and, and fit. You can want all these things, but unless you believe that you have the ability to do these things, you have the ability to change, unless you believe that you are becoming this, and once you become it, unless you believe that you are that, you will not be that. Your, your, your body is going to reflect and be a mirror for what you believe about yourself. So until you believe, any, everybody else can believe it all they want to, but until you believe it, there will be no change. So you have to get your mind aligned with the life that you want to live. Um, line your, your your thought pattern up with the individual you want to be and get yourself to the point where you actually believe and have confidence that you are able to be that person and you are becoming that person and that you are eventually that person and then you will be that person. Otherwise, you're, 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 you're never going to um, live up to your full potential. Everybody else can see it in you. You have to be able to see it in yourself and believe it. And I'm going to break this down even on a personal level. Like, you know, I work out all the time. So a lot of people see me or used to see me in a different light than I saw myself because even though I worked out all the time, I, did, I was still living a life based on my past experience and who I had been in the past. So when people would approach me or would people just be around me and looking at me, watching me, I would be um, led by my past as opposed to my present because I didn't believe yet that I had changed. I didn't believe yet that I had the ability to change, that I had the ability to be a better person and not be um, an individual who is, is, is uh, in the streets and thrives off negativity. I didn't believe that I had let that part of myself go, but everybody else already believed it. They didn't know anything about me, so they had no choice but to believe it. So until I got to the point that I believed I was somebody else, I believed I was a gym guy, I wasn't. You know, I was just a guy from the streets that was in the gym, and you know, all these people were potential threats to me, which they are not. They were just looking to me for advice, but I did not see myself as valuable enough to give that advice because I still was trapped in the confines of my old life. So you have to believe that you can change and that you are changing and that you are a changed individual. If you want to be that, you have to believe it. Nobody else can believe it for you and make it stick. David Goggins said, anytime you try to do something extraordinary, it's going to make people mad. The reason they're going to be mad is because it's going to be a reminder that they're not going as hard as they should go. They're not doing their best at something that, that, that they see you're doing. They want to be um, the man or the woman at whatever task it is that you're undertaking, but they don't really want to put forth the effort to, to be that individual. They, they want to be comfortable. They want to remain comfortable and still seem as if they are that person. But here you go and you're, you're not you're not even trying to be the person you're just doing your best at it whatever it is that you do and they see that okay I should be putting forth more effort than what I am and so they have to they, they seek to compare themselves with you with but that's not your problem keep doing what you're doing and um, like I said if, if you if you're not if you don't have those problems then maybe you're not working as hard as you need to be working because that's an inevitable part of the process you can't even avoid it you know, as much as you try our thoughts play a great role in how we feel um, on a day-to-day -day basis so like it says if you feel weak then don't think weak weak thoughts you you need to counteract your weak feelings with strong thoughts so Whenever you feel like, oh, I can't do this, I can't do that, you tell yourself the opposite. Tell yourself you can, tell yourself you will, tell yourself you must. You are going to face whatever it is that's making you feel weak and overcome it. You have to tell yourself that and you have to believe that in order to fight off the feelings of, of mediocrity and fight off the feelings of, of weakness. Don't just surrender to them and, and, and go along with them because then you know, you'll continue to feel weak. If you don't want to feel weak, don't think weak thoughts. Think strong thoughts.
hard work doesn't guarantee success nothing can guarantee success but your chances are greatly improved of succeeding if you're working hard if it's you versus another individual that's not working nearly as hard as you um who do you feel that that the odds will favor to be successful in whatever task it is it's, you know nine times out of ten the individual that works harder is going to be the one that's going to be successful michael jordan kobe bryant LeBron james these individuals were successful at what they did so successful at what they did because they worked harder than everybody else kobe bryant you know there, there's a uh clip of him telling somebody that he just wanted that man to know that he's gonna he's not scared to work harder than him that's his whole thing you know so it, 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 it's going to increase your odds of success you may not may not guarantee them but it will increase the odds i love this quote um and i find it to be so true if you don't believe that you're worthy of winning then you'll find a way not to win. You're gonna self-sabotage yourself because you don't have the confidence in yourself that you're supposed to be a winner. So if you don't think you're supposed to be winning, you will do things to make sure that you don't win. So with that being said, you have to find a way to develop the confidence in yourself to tell yourself that, hey, I deserve good things. I deserve to win. I, I don't deserve to continuously stay um, stuck in this position that I, that I got myself in. Okay, I got myself in this position, but I have improved myself, so I deserve to be doing better than this. I deserve to be living better than, than, than I am or than I have been. You have to have that confidence in yourself. Otherwise, you will find a way to keep yourself stuck. Don't stay stuck, believe in yourself. So if you make your training hard, then whatever you face after your training should be uh, that much easier than, than the training that you already put yourself through. I tell people that all the time as far as um, life is concerned and work. And like, man, how you work so hard, man? Isn't, isn't this strenuous work on you? Isn't it, doesn't it tire you out? I, should, man, I, I, I do way harder um, things to myself in the gym than this. Way more difficult things to myself in the gym than, than this job, you know? So the job is always gonna be much easier to me than than what it is I do to myself on a daily basis at the gym. So if you are a competitor and you are training to um, compete in, in, a, in a sports event or something, you should train hard because now once you get into the game, it's gonna be that much easier to be victorious at whatever you do because you are so hard on yourself in the um, rigors of your training that the, the game can't even compare to what it is that you do to yourself preparing yourself for the game. So train hard so you can win easy just like the statement says as always i want to thank you for watching another episode of akrme fitness where we create a climate conducive for our clients to gain confidence and change the world one workout at a time. With that being said, me and Ashley are out of here, but we'll be back soon with more leg workouts for you. See you guys then.